Hello everybody, this is Toy Zara, and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that I found going on in the world of Transformers. I let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Us. Before we get started, I want to thank everybody for their enormous support over the past couple of weeks. The channel has just blown up, which is brilliant. Um, I, obviously, that's probably down to the fact that I've given four, sometimes maybe five videos a day. Um, and don't worry, this isn't going to be the way it's going to be, as I say. It's just because obviously since SDCC and the fact that Hasbro Pulse shipped us out the exclusives instantly, even though they weren't supposed to be available till September, I've took the opportunity and I've obviously got as many of them reviewed as I can. The rest are coming up pretty soon, um, but again, the views, the numbers, everything's just really climbing and rocketing. So thank you everybody for all this. I really do appreciate it. And again, anything else you can do, liking the video, uh, putting a thumb up, even just a thumb up in the comments all helps the algorithm and indeed helps this channel grow. So thank you very, very much everybody for the support you never know i may get to the 10k by tf nation who knows right we're going to start off with um some images from acghk which is the hong kong uh, computer and as i say toys fair over the weekend i didn't do as much coverage of this as i did the other previous conventions purely because we've seen a lot of the things already they just had different displays of them however what we did get to see was from Yolo Park's booth. Um, the figures have gone up for pre-order on um, ShowZ already, which is the new mold. So obviously had the Bumblebee, the Optimus Primal and Optimus Prime, but the Wave 2 is gonna be Scourge, Rhinox and Cheetor and a battle damaged Optimus Prime. Now these are images straight from that particular convention, so apologies for the reflection. I've got all these images from tformers.com. So once again, guys, remember these are just model kits. They're snap together model kits, but the detail on them is insane. And they're really well priced as well. They're not incredibly expensive. Obviously you can't transform them. However, they are obviously very poseable and they do look exactly like the characters that we got to see on the screen in the Rise of the Beasts movie. So I've got Scourge pre-ordered, uh, but looking at this, I'm really contemplating getting the others as well, especially because I saw there's Cheetor as well, how good they actually looked. Um, on some of the guys' um, videos of these particular figures. So this was the Yolo Park booth. Um, and again, they look great and the detail on these is absolutely fantastic. Right, this is something that's been teased for well over a week now, but we've now got all images of this. I'm gonna say it, it's a pretty, it's more than pretty impressive. It's a spectacular upgrade kit for Studio Series 102. They've completely changed the figure. So you've got all of these accessories, you've got two swords, two arm blasters, two axes, a little Noah figure, some blast effects, some new smokestacks, and some new kibble for the back, which is even going to enable you to be able to pull the Earth Rising Kingdom trailer, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So you can see we've got the original figure there on the one column and the upgrades on the other side. You'll notice the main figure there has got the much, much better and much bigger um, cannons on the arms. Uh, with the upgrade kits, they actually look silver. Um, and they've changed something slightly on the legs. There's not too much to change on the robot mode. I'm sure you'll all agree, same as myself, the robot mode was fantastic. It really was very, very good, very screen accurate, but it looked like all the budget went into the robot. Alternate mode, and I know I'm giving it a get out of jail. It could have been better, and that's obviously what this is, um, but the robot mode is spectacular. They've just added all the weapons to it. So you've got the two swords, there's the huge cannons compared to the original. Um, there's the axes. You can store loads of this on the back of him as well. Um, but you could also, wait till you see this, you, there's the blast effects with the cannons. There's Noah, you can also put them on the back of him. You can put him on the back to create, recreate the scene from the end. And then this is the most important bit, of course. That was the original. This is the new thing at the back. They've completely flattened it down. They've put in like a bed where you can actually, as I say, you'll see in a second, you can either store all the blast effects and all the accessories on the back like so, or you can attach the Earthrise trailer, and then even then you can attach all of the accessories into the Earthrise and Kingdom trailer. That's a great, great upgrade kit, and it does look really good. Right, a couple more images. This is from, again, over the weekend. This is from Flame Toys. They've just dropped these out of nowhere. So this is the Kuru Karakuri um, figures, which we've got the Model Fury kits for Bludgeon, and Beast Wars Megatron. So this came out of nowhere. These are obviously just prototypes. There's your Beast Wars Megatron. There, of course, is Bludgeon. And then this one we've seen briefly, that's Starscream. So they've got a color copy of that to preview as well. So again, these are third, no, they're not. These are licensed companies, licensed by Takara and Hasbro to make model kits um, and figures for, for us. And they just look 
spectacular same as the yolo park right trash master voyager in hand um this is obviously out already in taiwan i think it was all of wave six has been released um somewhere in asia i remember doing a video on it so apologies if i'm getting the exact place correct so these figures are already out over there and this guy looks interesting i've gotten obviously he's a new character um uh, everybody's saying i think he's retgar from animated or something but even that i've got no unfortunate knowledge on that however he looks good um, and I can't wait to get him and I can't wait to see what people are going to build with this particular figure. There he is in box and as I say he's already available in some countries. Right, Starscream Deluxe. So this is again all to do to coincide with the extra episodes of Earthspark that are coming out. Uh, this is just obviously an easy redeco. This is the Deluxe version, not the cheaper Warrior Class version or the Flip Changer. And it's got of course the extra part for Mandroid with him as well there's the alternate mode as i keep saying i'm getting more and more into this watching it with my lad it's getting better and better guys so if you did fall off it for a little bit give it another chance um and yeah have a nose at it right i think pretty much everybody in the uk is going to know this already and i'm sorry for everybody else in the rest of the world but um again the reason why you're going to know this is because i've done pretty much videos on them near enough already however if you've not seen them or you're new to the channel and you do live in the uk and you want the buzzworthy bumblebee studio series optimus prime and the troop builder pack um, and the legacy g2 grimlock and the volvo optimus prime these have been spotted in forbidden planets around the uk so there you go that's the sightings for that this has also been leaked, we haven't got proper images yet, not leaked, but it's sort of revealed but not leaked because it's not officially by Takara yet. In Japan they're doing the Beast Wars versus packs, so the next packs is going to be uh, Dinobot versus Tarantulas. We've got some really blurred, awful images, but we can make out obviously that it's Dinobot and Tarantulas, so that's the next uh, multi-pack coming out for the Takara exclusives. Then I've done a bit quick, a quick whip round on the Weebos for third party companies. The Ultra Magnus has a video or a tactical commander, shall we say, from Dr. Wu. There's a video on there uploaded by Dr. Wu themselves. And I've got to say, it's very, very clever because it's pretty much a scaled down version of the New Age version. And obviously, because New Age is a third party company, I don't know if it owns the rights to it or not. The trailer, I've just done the video on the uh, Ultra Magnus clear version from New Age. And the way that you piece the trailer together is exactly the same as the New Age. So a little bit naughty, but I suppose they're all being naughty because they're not all officially licensed. Um, but I love the Doctor Wee figures and indeed the New Age one was great as well. But this is in the post to me right now. So hopefully I can be doing the video on him soon as well. And of course, by absolutely no surprise, New Age have gone and redecoed their Grimlock mold, I'm here, into the Tiger Yellow Stripe, which funnily enough, I've just done the review of the actual Hasbro product as well. So this came as no surprise. The only difference with this and the other molds is these are the leg guards um, that are coming out with this figure because obviously it's being released in time. If you remember some of the sludge figures um, having the leg guards given with them to put on the corresponding Grimlocks as well. Right, I think this is pretty much going to round up part one. Um, I have got another part two coming in a couple of hours. Not a couple of hours, uh, half a day's worth. So depending on the time zone, it's still going to hopefully be Wednesday. Again, I want to thank everybody for all their support and especially on Showsy as well. So if you go to the homepage, guys, on Showsy, and if you go, where's it gone? There's a box where you can support your favourite reviewer, which is, again is really helping this channel out. The support your favourite reviewer is... If I zoom in, it says there, if you type in there for me, Toys R Us, all one word, you'll see it on the code at the beginning of the video. That helps me out a huge deal. And indeed, it helps me bring the figures that I know that you guys want to watch. So there's third party companies on here. There's main line masterpiece in Takara. This is the pre-orders. There's the Metroplex from the previous video. There's also the new Scorponok they're teasing. There's New Ages versions of Sludge. There is Fans Toys figures, there's Yolo Park figures, there's Three Zero figures, there's DNA upgrade kits, there's absolutely everything on here. Fans Hobby, official masterpiece, official movie masterpiece, there's the Yolo Park Scourge, um, and as I say, Lucky Cat Bumblebee, um, everything, everything you can think of is on there apart from the normal generations toy lines. There's the New Age Magnus I was just on about, please check it out. And of course, if you do so, please support the channel by using my code. So yeah, with regards to the channel, I've got Retro Shrapnel, I've got Nova Prime, I've got the Dueling Pack from Amazon. I believe Armada Commander Class Optimus Prime is in the post as well at the moment, as well as everything else you've seen in the pictures I'm trying to catch up on. Once again, guys, huge thank you for all the support. I'm going to do a big live event 
this weekend. Fingers crossed 10K and fingers crossed 2 million views. So I'm very close to both. I'm gonna do a big double whammy, got some giveaways, etc. cetera. Um, really looking forward to it. So thank you again ever so much. I will speak to you very soon. Take care.